You guys, look, my corn is growing. This is the sweet corn. I planted it on the 26th and look at it. It's already like two inches. This is, what's this? Yellow bush beans. What else is growing in here? I have one growing here. And this is my sweet peas planted on the 26th. Um, and just to show you, the greenhouse. Some growth there with the chard and uh, then I have my baby, I'm sorry, beef, beef steak tomatoes and then those are my organic ace tomatoes. So we're growing. Alrighty, so here's my corn today. Just from yesterday and today, it was two inches. Look at it. It's about four inches now. And uh, that's my little pea there. And I'm so excited because we have leaves. Check this out. We have leaves, guys. Look at this. Look at this. We have leaves. Look at this one. That one, too. We have leaves, guys. And this contender bean is covered up. I'm so excited. All right, guys. So if you cannot afford a um, seedling heating mat you don't need one that right there is a good old-fashioned hair dryer and it's on the low setting so it's keeping it warm in there look at all of this and what's crazy is that earlier I showed you guys the plants and the dryer has been off for hours but the heat stayed in it it's a nice 70 in there I don't know if you can see it, but right there, look through there, right there. Those are the plants from earlier. They stood up. That's the corn right there in the front. Opening up, it has a leaf. And in those bottles, it's kind of foggy. Those plants have stood up and the leaves have opened up. Let me see if I can. There you go. So you just keep it a nice uh, 70 degrees preferably closer to 75 and uh, they respond much faster grow much faster okay so it is 5 p.m. it's time to put my uh, plants back under the grow light or I should say turn the grow light on so I took them out to water them and as you can see uh, they've grown quite a bit it is February 1st I believe and this is my corn uh, this is my yellow bush bean, so I'm going to eventually take these out. I'm going to go to the store today and get some planting pots and transport them or transfer them. Now, this one uh, is also a bush bush bean, and uh, I have some growth. My peas growing. I now have, let's see what's new. Where is it? Some spinach growing they've actually germinated um and they usually grow in cold weather um this is my these are my ace tomatoes organic uh ace tomatoes and beef steak and so i want to bring something to your attention now as you can see i have some cardboard separation here but i'm starting mm -hmm. to get this uh growth where is it right there that only happens when you have wet cardboard or you overwater and your soil is too wet and the temperature is just right. Now, I didn't overwater these, but the board has been wet, so it's easy to get rid of this. As you can see here, I don't have any cardboard separations because when it started, I just took them out of there. And also here. So once the soil is a bit held together and it starts like uh, this growth, I just turn the heat up to 70 so that it can dry out and then I slowly remove these so I'm just going to take this off and you can buy some neem oil to spray so that it doesn't grow but so far it's not as affecting uh, any of the plants and I'm just going to remove the rest of the cardboard uh, 
that has it on it because the soil is pretty much set where it's going to be. And then I'm going to water. Alrighty, and this is what it looks like once I remove uh, the cardboard. So they're still kind of in little uh, pods or bricks of soil. And they haven't fallen apart, so I'm just going to water directly in the center where I planted the seeds. And once they sprout a little bigger, just a little bigger than these, I'm going to transfer them into cups. Alrighty, so my daughter and I went walking and we got quite a bit of, uh, I guess you would call it firewood here, but we're going to use it to make uh, wood ash as a fertilizer. We got two big oak logs and a lot of these branches fell from oak uh, trees and I'm going to burn the small ones tonight and that little one there is quite a nice size and I got a staff here. I don't know if I want to burn him just yet. Might need to dry it a little bit more, but you just put it in a little grill that you have and um, take the ash out and store it in a container. Maybe a paint can. I have an uh, old coffee can. And uh, that's how you make fertilizer. So in order to make your fertilizer out of wood ash, you just take a piece of um, brown paper bag. Here I got a piece of Whole Foods bag because I know it doesn't have any chemicals in it. And you just put your twigs in the bottom on the rack on top of the paper and then you just uh, set it on fire and let it burn out burn down to ash I'm gonna probably get some bigger branches to put in here but I want to get all the little ones for now and that's how you make your wood ash to fertilize your plants for I believe it's is it potassium I can't remember, but I'll look it up. I'll show you guys uh, the grid here. Okay, buddy. 